Hey guys, I know it's been a while since I've made a video, but this is a very special video that I'm making. Um, as you can see, sitting here in front of me um, is a box with something in it. And this little something is something that is important to me. It's got a little story to tell. Well, probably not a little story. Probably it's gonna be a long story because I ramble, stumble on my words. That's just how I am. I'm Amanda Rambles. I'm so glad that you can't see my face, but you will have to overlook my hands. I've been working in my flower bed now that we have some warm weather. And now that I'm feeling good and feeling more like myself and have some good energy, because um, those of you that don't know, um, this past uh, year and a half, almost two years actually, um, I had fought um, stage two triple negative breast cancer, which is a journey on its own that um, I may share. Um, there's a lot of personal videos that I made talking about things and, um, you know, that's for some other time. But anyways, what I've got here is a little box opening and the story with this doll is um, I had somebody to pass down a reborn doll to me that was unfinished. And the friend that had passed her down to me was aware of me um, wanting to get her finished because the friend <laughs> that she came from um, was going to create reborns and she decided that it was just hard work. Um, she wasn't the greatest at it. So she said, but I thought she'd done lovely, you know, I thought she'd done lovely work on the few dolls that she did create, but this one was unfinished. And she knew how much I loved this sculpt. It's the Laura by Bonnie Brown, and um, she is my favorite all-time sculpt. This is actually my second reborn doll. Um, but anyways, um, the friend is in, um, in the UK, so it had a long journey. Um, to get sent to me, which was so kind of this lady to send to me. Um, so I'm very grateful for her. Her name is Mary. And I said, Mary, do you care if I have get her finished? And she said, I absolutely do not care. And I, I can't wait to see her outcome. So I will try to add in the photo, um, the before and, you know, before pictures of this doll, of this sculpt. Um, she was already put together. So, I went on um, a journey searching for um, a reborn artist to, um, to paint her for me. Um, I contacted several artists that I admire um, and I got just ignored. Um, my message was read, which I went to their Facebook pages, I went to their Instagram pages, and they just totally either did not respond read the message, didn't respond, or I had one tell me that, um, which I had explained, I'd sent them all the same message and explained to them that I have, you know, I will send proof um, from the, the friend that had passed this doll down to me that she did not care one bit for me having her uh, finished. And, um, you know, there was a, a few that did respond back and one told me that it was a big no-no in the reborn community to touch somebody else's work, which mind you, this doll just basically had a base color on it, a base color and a little bit of blushing and that's it. No uh, mottling, whatever you call it. Like I'm a new reborn mom, so forgive me for, for not saying things the correct way. I'm learning and, um, so she told me that it was a no-no and that um, I was better off to just disregard, you know, get rid of the sculpt, the doll, and um, buy a doll completed, you know, buy a Laura through her. That's, you know, everything done by her, sculpt and all, and, um, and just do it that way. I was better off doing that. And, you know, that was going to be like a $500 thing. Now, mind you, this doll was passed down to me. Didn't cost me anything. Um, so I was on a journey to find somebody that could help me get this doll painted and, and be affordable and, and help me. And, um, 
So I had another one tell me that yes, she could do it and that um, the thing is, is it's gonna be a lot of work. She would have to take the base off. Um, she would have to get it stripped the doll all the way down to just bare vinyl and that just, it's according to how realistic I wanted it, but just for a painting could be anywhere from $350 to $500. So, you know, she did beautiful work, but I had searched high and low for weeks. I had this doll for a few weeks and um, I just, I had been contacting people and watching videos and I was just, I was desperate and I was like, you know, I was getting ready just to give up and say, well, you know, Oh, well, just, you know, it's just going to have to sit as is. And, but I still loved her. I still love this sculpt. But something caught my eye, and it was a video. And it was a video on, because I noticed on the doll, she did have some, um, like, shiny spots on her skin. Like, I guess her base color had kind of worn off on her hands and um, parts of her face and things like that. And um, so the video was... Um, um, how to fix, I, I don't know the correct word, you know, the title of it, but it was basically a video showing you how to touch up your reborn skin, um, if it had some shiny, you know, shiny spots on it. And I clicked on it and watched this video and I started looking at her work and I was like, oh my gosh, she does beautiful work. And so I took to Instagram, I sent her a message. I took to Facebook, I believe, and sent her a message. And yeah, it was on Facebook. And right away she responded. I told her my story about how, um, you know, I'd gotten this doll passed down to me and that I could send her proof. I could have the, you know, the friend from UK to contact her and tell her, you know, yes, it's okay to, fix, to finish this doll. And that she was excited herself to see her outcome. And, um, she gave me a price and it was very, very good price. And, um, she is an amazing artist and I just want to say I'm so grateful for this lady. And her name is Jeanette. I think I'm saying that right. I'm going to show you her Facebook or her YouTube channel. Bear with me just a minute. Um, this is Jeanette from Stardust and Moonlight Reborn Dolls. So, as you can see, she does all kinds of videos. Um, she shows you how she's created dolls. She shows you dolls that um, she has up for sale. And I will add her links because I'm absolutely going to advertise for her. And, um, because I'm so grateful for her. So, um, I sent the doll out. I wrapped her up in an old receiving blanket and put a diaper over her head and off she went. She was not dressed in anything. Um, I just sent her, you know, as is. And Jeanette said, okay, I will, um, get to work on her. And I said, and if you don't care, can you please send me some peeks of her process? And she absolutely did. So, I've been so excited seeing her. She sent me a picture of her when she was completed, but I'm getting ready to open up and see her in person, and I want to share her with you. I did receive her the day before Easter, so I'm sure this video is going to be late going out, um, but I, you know, like I said, I have two Reborns now. This is my second, and my first one I won in a giveaway from an, another amazing artist. And um, I'm very thankful for that artist, which is Katie from Katie's Precious Angels Reborn Nursery. And, um, you know, Katie's been having some health issues and she took a little break from reborning. And um, I'm very grateful that, you know, she still took the time to fix this doll for, you know, the doll that I want in her giveaway. So, um, I, as a photographer, which I haven't got to do a lot of photography in a while because, you know, I been sick with you know can breast cancer and chemo and all that so but as a photographer I am going to do a photo shoot of my babies so I'm excited for that but let's get into this box opening and I'm sorry for the rambling so I have already opened it my husband actually opened the box for me because he knew how excited I was and I've already read the little note so I do want to share it and I hope Jeanette don't 
don't mind um, me reading this to you. Look how sweet this is. Let me see if I can get it to focus. If my, uh, my um, camera doesn't fall over. <clears throat> it says, thank you, Amanda. You are such an amazing and inspiring woman. I love that we cross paths and I hope we have a long friendship ahead of us. You make me smile with every message you send and your spirit and light is beautiful. Thank you so much for choosing me to give your Laura a makeover. Love, Jeanette. So I will keep this forever, forever, forever. Okay, let's focus in. So hopefully you can see this. Okay. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Okay, I'm so excited. <laughs> now I did send her wrapped up in this blanket. So this is a blanket that I had from my, um, that my first reborn was wrapped in because I didn't have any other um, receiving blanket. And she was naked. So I see Jeanette has sent me some little goodies in here which is absolutely so sweet and so kind. She's got some smell good things in here to help keep her smelling good. So let's see, let's start with this. So it says, your baby has been varnished with a heat set medium to protect the paint and take away shine, which is the video that I had watched. I hope this is not blurry. Please don't be blurry. Okay, but this is, um the varnish that she was using in the video. Oh, she sent me a little jar of that. I have some, focus, focus, okay. I have some baby diapers, two of them. Look how colorful, they didn't have things like this when my daughter was a baby. How tiny and cute. And there's another little goodie in here. Cute. Look how cute. Oh my God, it smells heavenly. Oh my God, it smells like a newborn baby. Oh my God, that is adorable. It's got little elephants and alligators. And it's girly too, because see, it's got like little ruffles. Oh, how stinking cute. All right. Oh my God, shoot. I don't remember her feeling this heavy, so she might have added some little extra weight in here. Oh my God, she smells so good. Oh my goodness. I apologize if you can see my face in this video. I just hope that it is focusing on the baby. Okay, 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 okay. Oh my God, Here's, here we go. Okay, let's do this. Okay, so I'm going to stop the video and I'm gonna lay her on a boppy that I have that I use in my newborn photography and then we will unwrap her and check her out. Oh my gosh, she smells so good. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay guys, we are back. So I got her on a little boppy. I apologize if you can hear the neighbor's dog barking. <laughs> and I'm in work clothes. So I've been outside working in my flower garden on this beautiful day. So just overlooked me and my awful looking hands. But okay, here we go. Let's start with... I'm so excited. I can hear the neighbor's dog barking. I'm out of my she shed. Oh, she's in a little sleeper. She put her in a little sleeper. Look, she's got her all hidden. Oh my God, she's so, she's all hidden. Oh my God, she smells so good. Okay, let's check her out, let's check her out. She's got a little tappy on. Oh my goodness. 
I got a studio light on, so it's a fluorescent light. I don't know if you can see. Oh my gosh, she, sm <laughs> she smells so good. Oh my God, her skin is textured. She did a skin texture on her, so. Oh my God, her little nails look so good. Oh my God, look at the detail on that little foot. Look at that little foot, guys. Can you see that? Oh my God, I'll do some pictures of her in, in natural daylight as well. Oh my God, I'm just blown away. Let's check these hands. The hands is what sold me on this sculpt. Oh my goodness. Look at her detail, oh my God. Oh my God, look at that hand. I hope you can see that. Oh my goodness. Jeanette. You done oh my god, this is like a real baby laying here. I'm freaking out. Okay. Okay, okay. Let's get to the face. I hope you guys can see. I hope you can see. Alright, here we go. Oh my god, here we go. Oh diaper head. She, um, she does have painted hair, and from the, from the pictures I saw, Jeanette Jen done an amazing job. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Okay, so, this baby had no hair whatsoever. Um, she did have some light blonde, um, eyelashes, and, I mean, you could barely see them, and she had some like blonde eyebrows, but she, you could barely see them. But her base and the little bit that was done to her was absolutely beautiful. And all I asked was Jeanette to, um, to just bring her to life. And yeah. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh. My God, look at you. Oh my goodness. Oh my God, look at this. Look at this, guys. Oh my God. Can you see her? Oh my, I'm going to have to take my phone off of here, so hang on. Bear with me. Look at this detail. You get to see my messy studio. <laughs> I apologize. Look at this. Oh my god, her hair is like textured. She you can feel like you can feel it's like little ridges in it. Like her hair is textured. Oh my god. Look at this. Look at the detailing. Oh my goodness, look at her baby rosacea. Oh my god. <laughs> She's perfect in every way. Oh my god, look at that. Look at that little crown. I'm trying not to get me. <laughs> oh, she is beautiful to take her sticker off. She's got a brand new sleeper on. Oh my god. I can't wait to hold her and snuggle her and dress her in a little Easter outfit. She'll be wearing my daughter's newborn clothes. Oh my gosh, she is just absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. I wish I could zoom in better. Oh god. And that little hand. And that little foot. Look at that. Look at the detail. Where am I? I can see my hand. <laughs> and my old ugly face. Oh my god. 
and look at her okay guys i'll be doing some dress up videos and if you guys like videos like this if you guys like videos like this please like and subscribe and chat with me in the comments and jeanette oh my goodness thank you so much thank you so 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 much for for bringing this baby back to life and um yeah you did an amazing job and i'm so grateful for you and thank you so much for responding and doing this for me because you have no idea how much this means to me and yeah guys we will see more of you soon and my other reborn dolls bye